Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a day. You know, after sitting here getting gas, literally working out, you know, I had to try this little vlog experiment thing and actually do a little bit of a quick fun ordeal at the U.S. Open. And maybe utilize this video as maybe like a good study tool and actually do a little bit of research. Maybe, just maybe. And see how the players, the tennis players, are actually mainly doing um, basically for this year's U.S. Open. You know what I'm saying? Because I know last year they had their own teams and they have um, their own rankings and everything else. And they have their own statistics. What I would like is they'll really show too much thorough details until the next tennis season mainly comes around. But we're going to show you what's really popping off at the U.S. Open right now. Boom. Yeah. Y'all see this, right? Y'all see this, right? My goodness, yo. This is live. I will be at the Billy G. King Tennis Center tomorrow at the time of this recording. By the time y'all see this video, it's going to be the next day. It's going to be the day after. It will be a third round, some third, the second half of third round matchups. I believe it's going to be on the Saturday, the 31st, right? That's going to be at the time of this recording. Expect some fun times literally throughout the whole day. All right, y'all, the big day. Let's go have some real good fun. All right, y'all, we here. Right there, got the tennis center here, subway in the seven train. City Field, home of the Mets in the building. It's gonna get real chaotic later on tonight. Man, chilling Lily up across that bridge. Y'all see all this, right? It is about to go down. Choreography or something today. Armstrong to the right. Yeah, this is crazy. Yeah, literally after 45 minutes away and actually eating some real good stuff out here. This stuff is literally insane. Grandstand's gone the same. Literally Stadium 17 is literally gone off the bat. People literally losing their minds out here. The whole block is literally up insane. Went around with chicken heads cut off. Oh boy, what a wonderful feeling today. Best believe that's gonna be on fire. All right, see we're up by the practice court. You know, seeing like a bunch of players mainly practicing. And some doing a little bit of doubles right now. About to go head on to ass and deal with the big time primetime main event 
going on at night. So it's definitely a wonderful feeling. All right, start starting right now. We about to go in. Showtime. Yeah. Juicy. Ooh. Got a game going on. Insane. Y'all see this? So Iga represents the the play up in the whites, and we got this young lady by NSC that's coming by up on the red. Let's look going the game, going like a little bit of a mini break here. One solo in the background having his fun out there, having a baseball game early today. But yeah, some very very fun stuff. It's a very team match. Loaded at that, you know, gonna see one of the top contenders duke it out. Now we know Eagle took the first set. It's gonna be very interesting who's gonna really go go down the next set right now. She is literally no joke. literally really dominating the court right now as we speak. They kind of whoop behind right now. Juicy. Juicy. Now that's on the set, they're actually starting to lock up these sets up here because they're about to start play. When it's off, they'll start letting people through the bathrooms. I've been a little first bowl. Now I see they let anybody in. Because it says it's already done. 
It's a limited amount of time. And this right here is the potential final game. The potential final game, ladies and gentlemen. Still alive, still alive. I'm like until right now, closeouts are literally not easy to see when it comes to sets and matches. It a hard hardest part of this. Very difficult. evidence there's appointments you know home people so many some folks will leave early down the little bowl so we can actually try and move a little bit closer let's hope and pray for it literally an hour 32 wow that was quick oh my goodness Looking forward to hopefully I can show some beautiful things. 
Game's just getting started. Neil has the first game of the set one. Crazy, 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 crazy. Uh, stuff just got even. on the game. It just got real, y'all. Just got real. Game. Ace. Yeah, alright, this first set right here. Yeah, homeboy. Kabuli and wiped out so far. Shoot. Come on.
Here we go. Yeah, the deal. Yeah, Yance going the homeboy. Five three. Hey man, Young, Young doing his thing. He is for real. For real. Going for the ace. Beef. Got more people than balls. I'm not to get sex or anything like that. Wait, Juicy! You're you get me too soft and not rock hard. Sexual healing, baby. I'm gay right now. Eddie Murphy. Sexual healing. A. And it's good for us. Juicy. Come on. Blocky hot. Let's get it. 
Ramon. Set point. Come on. Ooh, self inflicting. My God, my God. Okay. Let's go. You got it. No, we got it. Mm hmm. set. gonna be a good one. This may go to straight sets probably next 40 minutes. Hey, we'll never know. Golly, man, this is crazy. This is crazy. Oh my goodness. Deuce. After five deuces. Mm -hmm. That's for real. For a bit after this game, oh babe, four three, four three, man, beautiful view, y'all. This is crazy. 
look at the view of Queens. Man. We are now up by the club level. Man, I tell you, they got some exclusive stuff right up in there. People getting themselves rested, people getting themselves prepared. You know, we got, you know, the Belarus, the sensation, Medvedev versus the White Flavor Flav. Living up beyond expectation right now. This youngin is really pulling on the heat and putting on the clinic. So let me go find a charge real quick to actually save this bad boy so I can try and give some more footage for y'all. Notice a lot of people starting to head up onto the exits as we head back to our seats for a great game. Just like that, the game is over. Straight sets, baby. My goodness, man. This is crazy. This is crazy. What a game. What a game. All right, let's get up on out of here. And we got like another match going on, but the Armstrong right now with a woman's tennis really going on. So let's see if we can find a way to get ourselves in a crash party. All right, so here, ladies and gentlemen, we got these live courts that you see with mixed doubles, you know, doubles, you know, singles. We got all these deep tournaments. You get all these seats, all these standings, these little small dots, these little small squares we have up here represent the time on the center. Now, if they have some of these little TV dots, the time will be on the little center up above, a little down below, to actually give them how much time before they next serve. Line judges, seats, main seat up in the middle. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of craziness really during the day. And I'm gonna try and actually enjoy, let me just flip this over. I'm actually gonna try to enjoy Watching this little last set, see how, how far this whole thing can go. And actually literally go down to the max in Armstrong. So let's see what we got going on over there. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is Grandstand. All this here is Grandstand right here where they have matches mainly going on. You see everything come through in real time, come through all over the court. And that's all science scene they have over here. But the benches... Man, what a view, what a view. And you see the other game going on here as well. Let's go up. A little focus, focus. Yeah, and I might try to pull away. Yeah, it's already 5-1 now, but I might. Man. One more game for her to win. It's over. All right. Fast point right there. Let's see what he got. Oh. Good night. Good night, my turn around 16. What a game, y'all. What a game. I see both games. You know, they ended literally in straight sets. You would think it'd be like way more compared with this, but regardless, it's still fun. You know, we got a lot of young guns that actually did their thing, and I actually really are proud of them. It's just they just have like a lot to learn. Um, basically, the other Russian, I forgot her name is, it was uh, Anastasia. You know, like the Fox animation series, Anastasia. I think it's a animation movie, I forgot it was, it's in the 90s. Um, Anastasia definitely has a lot to learn. She's highly ranked, you know, she'll be back, you know, with the white flavor Flav, 
we also know he's on his way as well. So they'll be back very, very soon. They just got a lot to learn. They're very young. But Medvedev, Swiatek, they are the real deal. They're literally like hardcore contenders down to the T to literally win any major, okay? Especially this one. And I would not be surprised if he didn't win at all. But, you know, they got like some stiff competition. You know, they got a competition with Sinner. You know, they got competition dealing with, um, who else? Sorry, I got interrupted due to the stores being full. As I was saying, they got like a whole lot of heaven. Dealing with like heavy competition on the men's side and heavy competition literally on the women's side with Coco Golf. Um, definitely uh, Azarenka, um, Sabarenka, excuse me. I mean, Anya Sabalenka, you know, dealing with those guys. You know, Rajdegi's on the way back. It's a lot of chaos going down in the streets. So let me go home, get into my car before the swords really fails on me again. And I'll see y'all another one. You know, whatever swords we mainly dig in, we can actually try to look into some statistics we have for these two games to see what we can get out of them. And we're going to leave it at that. Chris and Paul from Nerd Chronicles to sign out. Good night. One more thing I forgot to tell y'all. Getting out of the parking lot, unlike some Mets games, is actually smooth sailing now because the majority of attendees are literally transit people. You know what I mean? They took the transit over here. They took the train over here. They were actually taking the car. <laughs> Y'all, look at this, man. Barely any cars up in here. Barely. It's not even packed. Not even packed at all. Oh, goodness. Smooth sound all the way back home. Good night, y'all.